Federal agents gathering evidence at the new Sherwood Market in the 6300 block of Sherwood Road in Northwood, part of an investigation into food stamp fraud. The total loss, according to the government, $16 million. The goal is to put food on the table, not to put money in the pockets of greedy criminals. The FBI arrested 14 people accused of food stamp trafficking. The raids happened at 18 businesses, including Royals Food Market in the 900 block of East Patapsco Avenue. Shut down Tuesday morning, the metal security gates pulled tight and padlocked. Some shoppers wanting to hide their identities, surprised by the police activity. Um, actually, I was coming down the street and I saw uh, police outside the store. And, um, and then I saw one of the owners standing outside talking to uh, one of the officers. Also closed, Kelwin Grocery in the 2700 block of Pennsylvania Avenue. Those arrested are accused of illegally redeeming funds from electronic benefit transfer cards that are supposed to be used to buy food. The feds say no food is purchased. Instead, the cardholder and the people operating the store split the cash. In their investigation, the feds say they found some of the businesses had already been in trouble for not following supplemental nutrition assistance guidelines. Each time the government kicked the SNAP owners, the owners out of the SNAP program for violating the rules, they reapplied under a new name at the same location and allegedly continued committing similar fraud using the name of a relative. It is a problem. Um, they have uh, computer data banks. They have a lot of names in there. They, they check on the names. Uh, they do look into it, but sometimes, uh, you know, names aren't in the computer system and it falls through the cracks, unfortunately. Some of the defendants own two or more stores, and in one neighborhood, residents wonder where they will shop if the store there doesn't open again. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. All right, Barry, thank you.